Good morning to you ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 and I'm just out for a drive this morning. I just happen to be coming into the little town of Lincoln, New Mexico where Billy the Kid and all of that stuff went on. The Lincoln County Wars, but that's not what I'm going to talk about. You can check that out on the internet and find out a whole lot more than I could ever tell you. So, but what I did want to touch on says as I've been driving along here, I've probably seen a half a dozen or six RVs, motorhomes, fifth wheels, etc. Now the motorhomes, without exception, all had a tow vehicle. Some of them had a tow vehicle, and on the, on the, on the back of the tow vehicle, they had two or more bicycles. And uh, on one motorhome, it didn't have a tow vehicle, but they did have two what looked like electric bikes on the back nothing wrong with any of that but it occurred to me that here comes one now let me get it over, let me get over where you can see it here comes a motorhome now and uh, it's a class a and you'll see it coming right around the corner here now there it is and what do they have behind it uh, a tow vehicle no bicycles just a tow vehicle but anyway my point being that the guy that you see or couple that you see going down the highway with no tow vehicle, no bikes, trikes, whatever, probably enjoy their trip better than most. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you don't have to worry about anything. You, you, you don't have anything back there that can fall off or, or be stolen or whatever. You know what I mean? And I'm not, again, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. But sometimes we acquire, and this guy here on this bicycle must have a death wish, but be that as it may, he's getting, he's going to be so healthy when he gets hit by a car that it'd be amazing. But anyway, yeah, whenever you're thinking about RVing or the RV way of life, uh, think about possibly less stuff instead of more stuff. In fact, whenever you see uh, uh, RV review on YouTube or by a dealership or whatever, the first thing they point out to you, or one of the first, look at all the storage. You hear what I mean? I mean, it's amazing. And, and of course, I'm guilty as hell. I mean, well, not anymore. I mean, past several years, I haven't taken much stuff. I did try taking a, a trike and a tow vehicle and all that stuff, but I don't anymore. And I have to say, it's a trade-off. You know, if you don't have a tow vehicle or you don't have an electric trike, bike, whatever, then when you get somewhere, your only mode of transportation to and from a store or whatever is your RV. If you're in a motorhome, class A, B, C, whatever. Uh, is that bad? Uh, not for me. My, my uh, class C motorhome is 24 feet long, approximately. It's just a van. It's the same length as a, a, a van, a long wheelbase van, and I can drive it like a car. And, but again, I'm just the point of this video is just to share with those that are possibly already on the road with a tow vehicle and bicycles and boats and whatever they got on the roof. You know, uh, that's wonderful. But uh, you might want to try a trip without any of it you know and it may not work for you you may hate it but what if it did work you know what if you did say well wait a minute we don't need all this stuff you know and, and I have to say this I have I have I have very few clothes as you probably notice it seems like I wear the same thing every day and I pretty much do but why shouldn't I I mean hell I don't see same people that often and I don't really care anyway at my age you know so uh, yeah so those are things that you might ponder uh, as you're thinking about the RV way of life is less is more and something that also occurred to me that yeah with all that storage uh, that is available in RVs now particularly class A's not so much class B's because they don't have much space at all, but class C's, uh, there is enough space to put in a lot of stuff that weighs a few pounds, you know? And if you add a, a, a couple of bikes or electric bikes or whatever on the back, 
uh, yeah, you could be overloaded and not know it. So it would behoove you at some point, uh, once you've got all your stuff put away, is to weigh your vehicle. Like you're, you're fixing to go on a trip, you're, you're ready to go, go to some scales nearby and see if you're not overloaded. Because you really can't put much additional weight inside of a Class C uh, motorhome. I think mine, I think I can put about 800 to 1,000 pounds and still be within the weight guidelines. Well, hell, let's look at it this way. If you add 50 gallons of fresh water, that's 400 pounds right there. All right, does that count? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in that side storage, you know, you put a, uh, whatever you want to put in there, you're going to end up with at least 200 pounds. That's 600. And then inside with a, your canned goods and uh, whatever else you put in there, your clothes and stuff, uh, hell yeah, you can get to 1,000 pounds pretty quick. So again, just rambling on here, out for a drive. Beautiful day here uh, in New Mexico. I'm just uh, driving from Capitan over to uh, Lincoln, little town up. Those are speed bumps, so speed limit 30, and I'm going 44, which is not good. And they used to have a lot of, the reason they have that sign to slow you down to 30 and those speed bumps, and this place used to be really a touristy area. But since the pandemic, uh, I don't think that it's recovered, you know, because it used to be you'd come around this turn and there'd be people walking across the road, uh, buses and motorhomes and stuff on both sides of the street. And yeah, you couldn't even hardly find a parking spot. But as you can see now, uh, hardly anybody, you know. They do have a little restaurant here. It's called the Wortley, Wortley House, I think. I don't know how good it is. I, I didn't eat there, but but it, it is a unique area to come and just take a walk around town. I'll give you that. Uh, it's d just for the historical value of the old buildings that are here, and they have several historical markers for you to read about what went on in this area during the, quote, Lincoln County Wars, which uh, didn't last too long. It was a few years is all or less wasn't much but uh, yeah if you just came here and took a walk around the town that would be very enjoyable and it would be a very good walk and there's also a walk you can take along that parallels Bonita Bonita River or Creek or whatever it happens to be called I'll turn around here because once you pass this here you kind of get past the point of no return here comes a guy with a travel trailer we'll see he's just gonna have a travel trailer because he's gonna use his pickup as his get about town vehicle, which is, I did that for God, 20 plus years, I know. That could be me, but it ain't. This is me in my 2012 Hyundai with 110,000 miles on it. I have to tell you, uh, I'm very pleased with it so far. I've got to get some sensors re replaced, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Uh, the guy called me and said, yeah, he'd take care of that for me, so that's good. They're O2 sensors. You can, you can drive for a while without uh, replacing them, depending on the vehicle, but you shouldn't for long. You need to get them replaced. But be that as it may, yeah, we're going to get that done. I know some of you have sent me emails interested in buying this car when I get ready to sell it. Well, guys, I'll kind of give you the, how this is going to go down uh, on selling it. I'm going to set a price and uh, it'll, it'll be carved in stone, okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna negotiate. Uh, I'm not sure what it'll be now, but I'd say, uh, well, I don't really wanna say. I mean, I have mentioned a number to some people that have sent me emails, but, uh, and, I'll, and I'll stick to that, I won't go up. But uh, it's, it's a good little car, but I'm not gonna do any kind of warranty on it. I'm not gonna do any research for you about it. I mean, I'm not gonna do any of your quote homework because I bought it what you would call cold turkey. In other words, I saw the car, drove the car, appeared to be okay, did have an engine light on, they did know it was the O2 sensor, said they would replace them, that's it. So, you know, as far as anything else, you know, there's no warranty of any kind, you know? So whenever you buy it, you own it, okay? So just, and that's just, and that's the way it would be with any 
a used car. You know, it, it, it's not a certified vehicle. It's a petrified vehicle is what it is. It's old. Uh, and but knock on wood, you know it uh, it runs good right now. You won't believe this. I'm averaging 34.3 miles a gallon, but of course I've been driving 40, 45 miles an hour because there's no traffic on this road or very little, and I'm not in a hurry to get anywhere. You know, not, you would probably get 25 miles a gallon maybe all around. All right, so you know, don't count on getting what I get because I do drive slow, and I am aware. Uh, I, I, I want to try to keep the gas mileage good, so I kind of work at it. I don't do the jackrabbit starts and all that, but what's that got to do with what I was talking about? Well, not really anything, but I just thought I'd throw it in for flavor, you know. Variety is a spice of life, and this is a variety video. Yes, it is nice to be able to take a drive uh, in this car as opposed to just getting up and driving off in the Class C. Uh, it's a little... It takes a little time and effort to dry, just drive off in the Class C motor home. You have to unhook uh, and all that stuff, but if you're just going to go for a drive and come back, you can leave all your hoses and stuff just sitting there and come back, you know. And, uh, yeah, put a, if, you, if you're out camping, now I'm, I'm doing this at my home base, so I don't have to worry about somebody coming up and saying, well, God, look what they drove off and left, you know, all their hoses. Well, we we can use that, you know, and uh, no, no. But if you're out uh, at a state park or national park or whatever, uh, if you're going to leave your hoses there, put a, a sign, you know, that this place is reserved or taken, you know, gone to get groceries, be right back, or let the camp host know, and uh, so that way your stuff will be safe. Here's a guy pulling a fifth wheel. Uh, doesn't have any bicycles or anything because he's got his tow vehicle to ride around in. But yeah, it, it, it uh, for those of you that have motorhome type stuff, you know, be, think about it because you know, really, less is more, man. I, I guarantee you, you don't own things; they own you. You know, in, in fact, like this car, you know, I acquired this car. Did I have to? No, but I did. But now I've got, I've kind of, I'm kind of, I've got responsibilities. You know what I mean? You know, it has to have the oil changed. I don't know. I'll probably have the oil changed in July or so. Uh, I think it's when it's got 113,000 miles on it, it shows it needs to have the oil changed. Anyway, so I'll probably do that. You know, then you got you know these sensors. I need to get that taken care of. So you see, again, do, does it own me or do I own it? Good question. So same way with any stuff, guys. I mean, anything that you add to your life that is flavor. Uh, yeah. Try adding some kids. <laughs> Do you own them or they own you? You know what? You know the answer to that. Or try getting married. You know, same way. But anyway, guys, it's about 10:30 in the morning. Temperature 64 or top down degrees for sure. Top down in that you would definitely have your top down if you had a convertible, because it is a beautiful day here in New Mexico. Definitely. Look at those blue skies. But having said that, guys. The purpose of the video was just to possibly uh, get you to think about taking less stuff man I mean you know for you guys that have motorhomes uh, you know it's not having anything back there you know I know for some of you to say oh hell we couldn't live without our toad and you probably couldn't if it's two of you and all that crap but you know there's probably a few of you out there that might say you know you know, that would save me a few bucks on insurance and stuff and you know it's a trade-off it is and uh, so you really have to think it through before you make the move so here we go around this turn and then I'll end the video from near Capitan New Mexico on a beautiful April day uh, this is Rusty 78609 saying thumbs up Carpe diem, carpe diem means seize the day in Latin, carpe diem, carpe diem, adios, buy, buy, buy anything you want, anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos, why, it doesn't cost you a penny, just click on the link in the description of the video and go to Amazon and get whatever you want, drink plenty of water, stand guard at the door of your mind, wow, you know what I mean? Don't watch the news. All negative crap. You know it and I know it. They work on your emotions. 
So with that in mind, guys, enjoy your life, keep your health, and for you that are out there RVing, I hope that gasoline prices come down and make it more enjoyable for you, and for me too. Adios. Bye-bye.